Welcome back. I'm Erin, the Two Martini Stitcher, and I am here to do a little Stitch Mayhem update, show you what uh, progress I made yesterday on my Mayhem project, Welcome Foolish Mortals, and what I have on the dock um, for on the docket for the weekend. Um, I do my Stitch Mayhem projects on weekdays only, and then on the weekends I work on other whips. So I thought I'd show you my progress on this and kind of what my plans are for weekend stitching. Uh, so this was the project I worked on yesterday. Welcome Foolish Mortals by the Witchy Stitcher. Haunted Mansion is my hands down favorite ride at uh, Disneyland. And uh, yeah, so I started this one in 2022. And I've definitely worked on this quite a bit outside of Mayhem. And uh, it's going to be hanging around for a while longer because there's a lot of stitching in this. So here's my progress. Ta-da! I think yesterday I maybe foolishly, foolish mortal that I am, said, oh, maybe I could finish this whole side over here. I still had a bit of swirls and stitching to do over here. And I did get a start on this side, but there's just... There's just a lot of stitching in this, in this bad boy. Um, Cause I stitched for a couple of hours last night and it just doesn't look like great progress, but oh man, I do love how that atoile is showing up. So I'm stitching this on a um, 16 count Ada from Picture This Plus in Phantom with a black atoile DMC. So yeah. So there we go. So some progress on this, but mm, we'll definitely be seeing this probably another mayhem uh, because I don't foresee this getting pulled out for a finish this year, but who knows? Never know. Never know what the rest of the year will bring. Oof, that fabric is looking beautiful. It's darker, just like all the fabrics. Um, oh, that's better. That's better. Oh, if I get further away, that's more what the fabric looks like. You can see the mess that's on my table. More projects. Um, I love this fabric. It's great. Fantastic. And I'm pretty sure it's the called for. So that was my progress yesterday. So let's talk about my weekend plans, which means first talking about this project letters for mom by Jeanette Douglas. I actually started this in mayhem in 2020. And then last year in 2021, I moved it out of mayhem into a weekend whip. Because originally my goal was I was going to stitch one of these for each of my three daughters and have it made into this little envelope. And I thought if I'm going to do three of them, it needs to get worked on more regularly. And I did for a while. And I'll show you where I am. So here's where I am on, I think this is a platinum, this 36 count, I think platinum. And I was stitching this with called four colors. So this is on my calendar for this weekend. I had slotted this in to be my whip this weekend. However, as I pull it out, I have not worked on this in quite a while. Um, I've decided that this is getting UFO'd. This is getting UFO'd. It's a beautiful chart and it's so pretty. This like border is actually fun to stitch even though it looks like a pain. Um, but... I'm not going to stitch three of these. I'm not. I mean, I would love to, but also I don't write letters to my children. In my head, that would be a really cool thing. But um, especially as like everything becomes more digital, like we swap memes on Instagram and we text and call and I just don't write letters to my children. So... This is getting UFO'd. I will use the rest of this fabric for something else and put the flosses away and yeah. And that's kind of a weight off. Let me tell you, <laughs> letting things go. So this is getting UFO'd. So what are my play actual plans for the weekend since this is what was on the calendar? But ta da I'm gonna go back to Blueberry and Time. I worked on this the first weekend in May and then last weekend was dance convention and so things were busy and I didn't stitch on this so I'm gonna come back to this my hope is to have this done by the end of May that's my plan so let's see um, how far I can get on it this weekend I'll show you where I'm starting 
Ta-da! I got lots of stitching done on this the first weekend of May. I essentially did like this whole bottom part and up here. So um, there's a little line down here on the bottom to do. And then I'm going to work my way up on this chandelier. And yeah, I have some beads for the blueberries. So those will get added at the end. So that'll be really fun. But this is where I'm going to be putting my stitching time this weekend and we'll see if I can get that done. This is the last one of the series I have to stitch. So that'd be exciting to have them all finished and rotating out in my kitchen. So I will check back with you on Monday. I'll be back on Monday to show you where I got to on this and um, what my next 16th day of Mayhem project will be. Oof, this month is going fast. I'll see you then. Bye.